And Lloyd, this is a story that really began more than 50 years ago. That's right, Chris. It began back in the 1960s when they came up with the plan to build the plant, and it didn't take long for the controversy to begin. From the earliest days of Port Manatee, the plan to build the Piney Point fertilizer plant here raised alarm among those who feared serious environmental damage. And one of the reasons we formed was because of Piney Point, which was constructed in 1966. Glenn Compton heads the environmental group Minnesota 88, formed to stop the fertilizer plant at a proposed oil refinery. They stopped the refinery, but the fertilizer plant would cause environmental problems, just as they predicted. Piney Point is located in one of the worst possible locations you could have in the state of Florida. It's adjacent to Tampa Bay. It's near Bishop's Harbor, which is uh, outstanding Florida water, which is supposed to be protected. Pollution filed the pristine waters as early as 1970. Years later, at least two acid clouds were accidentally released. The owner, Mulberry Corporation, declared bankruptcy in 2001 and abandoned the plant. Whatever could go wrong, has gone wrong at Piney Point over the decades of its existence. In the early and mid-2000s, there were fears a hurricane could cause a catastrophic breach, and there was discussion of larger controlled releases of wastewater into the bay. The late environmentalist Jan Platt in 2003. Obviously, they've decided to take that risk, but uh, we locally did not want them to take that risk. Another plan had a pipeline to Port Manatee, where millions of gallons of wastewater would be taken by barge and released out in the Gulf. Local fishermen threatened a blockade. Opponents said it wasn't if, but when there would be an environmental disaster. And it appears that when is happening right now as we speak. It's a matter of how bad it's going to get. More than 50 years after it started, Piney Point still threatens. And Minnesota 88 and other environmental groups want the state to look at all the other gypsum stacks around the state. They fear another potential disaster like Piney Point could crop up in other parts of the state, many of them around the Bay Area here in our area. Chris? Yeah, I think people would be surprised, Lloyd, to see if you could uh, document on a map all the gypsum stacks, many of them inactive, that are sitting out there in the area. Yeah. All right, Lloyd Sowers live for us there with a look at the history of the Piney Point site.